Oh my gosh. Good morning, guys. Today is Monday, November 6th, I think. November 7th, maybe. Um, today, I am going to take you guys with me to the gym. I am going to bring you guys um, through like a typical workout that I would do during the week for um, lower body. This is like lower body glute focus. So I'm going to take you guys with me for my workout and... Yeah, we'll see what else I bring you guys with. My class got canceled today, so I decided today would be the perfect day to film, and I may bring you guys into tomorrow and possibly Wednesday. I don't know yet, um, but my class got canceled, so I figured I would take you guys with me on my workout that was not supposed to happen today, but hey, class got canceled, so we're going to go kick butt in the gym, so let's go. All right, so I kind of forgot to tell you guys this, and I just want to do this really, really fast. Um, some of you may or may not know, but I am actually an affiliate with BPI, and if you guys don't know what BPI is, it's a super awesome, um, nutrition supplement company, and I am teamed up with them, and each month they send me stuff, and I basically review it for you guys, and put it up, um, on social media if I, like, definitely love it, and this is my favorite thing. I've been using this for my workouts every time I work out, and I wouldn't tell you guys to get something if I didn't use it myself. Um, you guys have seen this shaker Maybe if you follow me on like Snapchat or whatever, but I use this shaker every day. It's from BPI. And so all I'm going to do is add one scoop, a scoop and a half actually of uh, aminos. Aminos are like the one thing in my supplement regimen. Like I don't take supplements all the time like I used to obviously when I was like in prep and stuff. But aminos are something that I definitely um, still, it's just kind of like an overflowing scoop, but I'm just going to throw that in there. Um, aminos is definitely something that I do drink every day, even without being on prep. Even if I don't work out that day, I still take aminos. Um, if I could give you guys a definition of them, I would. I am in nursing school, so I'm kind of scientific-y. But, um, they're basically a protein building source in your body, and they help you burn fat faster. It just, um, helps speed up your metabolism a little bit. So, the color, or... The flavor that I am doing right now that I am using is the sour apple, sour candy, sour candy. And it literally tastes amazing. I think it comes out like green. Yeah, you guys are kind of gonna see it in a second. Let me grab a shaker. Um, but it kind of comes out green and it's super awesome and delicious. And so that is kind of what I am using for aminos this month. That'll probably last me for a month. Um, but super awesome from BPI. You can order BPI online at bpi.com or you can get some stuff at Walmart. They do have some stuff at Walmart. So yeah, hit up your aminos. Let's go to the gym. I shouldn't love you, but I want to. I just can't turn away. I shouldn't see you, but I can't move. Can't look away I'm walking alone The streets are empty The only thing I can see Is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Hi guys, I am back with another voiceover for you guys. I'm just going to kind of go through this entire workout and explain what I'm doing. And right now I am doing a little bit of an incline warm up on the treadmill. I am just walking and kind of getting a little bit of a jog side to side. Really gets my glutes warmed up and legs ready to hit a lift hard because this lift was really hard. Um, so first off, we're going to go ahead and start with glute hip thrusts. I am doing these on the Smith machine. You can use a regular barbell if you want to. It's up to you. Um, I am starting out at about 75 pounds and here I am going for 8 to 11 reps. So in when you're doing glute hip thrusts, which I think I readjust here in a second, and I do specifically because you want to make sure that the bench is you're putting your shoulders on the back of the bench. You don't want it to be your lower back. You want it to be your shoulders. The only time it should be your lower back on the bench entirely is if the weight is extremely heavy. And in this case, 75 pounds was not very heavy for me. So always making sure that your shoulders are the ones that are laying on the bench and you are pushing up with your hips. I'm gonna kind of show you guys here when you guys have a different view, but really, really making sure that it is your shoulders that are on the back pad and pushing up with those hips. You really wanna make sure that you hit parallel and at the top of the movement, you are going to squeeze your glutes together as hard as you can. That is basically the goal. Um, the reason that I really enjoy hip thrusts is because it is a way to use your glutes only and not utilize your quads and your legs. I am a quad dominant lifter and I know a lot of other people are. That is where a lot of my muscle grows first. So as you can see here, you are really only using your glutes for this movement. Um, your quads should not be 
extremely implemented is what I'm trying to get across, I guess. So that is why I really enjoy hip thrusts. And going at a lighter weight is just going to give you more of a burnout, burning fat, getting your legs really, really warmed up, and it will really tire out the muscles. So it's a really awesome movement to utilize in your leg and lower body workouts. Um, going again here, I am at 125. The reason this is 125 pounds is because on Smith machines, people don't notice, but the bar is way less than 45 pounds. So you really want to make sure you're keeping track of your weight. I am at 125 here, so I am just pushing that bar up with my hips, really making sure to get a full movement. And I was going for six to eight reps here. So a little bit smaller of a rep range just because it is a heavier weight. And on that last rep, I do try to hold it at the end because it is super duper good for the glute muscles. It just kind of wears them out and it's a burnout. And if you're not sweating and dying when you're doing these, you're probably not challenging yourself enough. So really making sure that you're getting the sweat and the burn feeling from these hip thrusts is extremely important. I've been flying from town to town, from London to Taiwan. Alright, so moving into the next movement, I am going to incorporate some jump squats with abs. So here I am just going at a fast pace, just jumping in and out squats, trying to burn out my legs, trying to burn out the glutes. Honestly, this isn't like anything specific to the glute workout. It's just honestly a burnout for my legs that I really enjoy doing. So going from any kind of rep range from 12 to 15 is what I'm going for here. And then we're going to go ahead and get involved with the cables, pulling them down and doing the typical ab movement with the cables, putting it right behind my neck and moving down, pulling down with my core. Um, a lot of people do these different ways. I'll probably get critiqued for the way I'm doing it. But honestly, I do what feels like it's working for my body. So really implementing the fact that you're not concerned how other people think you're doing it correctly, but do it correctly as to where you feel it in your core, because that is how I feel it personally when I do those. So that was a superset that I did a few rounds. I think I did three rounds of that. And then moving in, moving into the most sexual movement y'all are about to see, I promise that this is strictly for glutes, but we are going to go into some hip thrusts without a bar. My legs, this is technically two movements you're going to see here in a second, but basically you're going to grab a bench and your legs are going to go on top of the bench like you are essentially like getting ready to do hip thrusts, but you're doing them at a decline. So they're decline hip thrusts and your legs are going to be like you have a ball. If you can kind of see how my legs are, you're going to be doing decline hip thrusts, holding it up. And when you get up there, you're doing knee adductors, abductors, because you're adding to the movement. So these are both glute focused movements. I'm just incorporating two of them into one. So as you can see here better, my legs are kind of turned, my feet are turned into each other and my hips are thrusting up. With that movement, you are squeezing your glutes at the top as hard as you can, even though this looks extremely, you know, just not the cutest movement ever, but hey, your glutes are burning when you're doing this. So I really, really enjoy this. It's an easy thing to end your workout with. I have one more movement after this, but it's just a really, really good movement to burn out your glutes and you can do it with weight. You know, you could easily put a bar on your, like if you wanted to hold it there to make it challenging on your hips, you could do that. But kind of the purpose is here to burn out the glutes. And then we are going to move into some Bulgarian split squats. All I have here is a bench. I am putting the foot of my foot on the bench and squatting down. I also added a ball in here, kind of awkward movement, but it was really making my shoulders burn, so I did it. And you are just, <laughs> my legs are shaking so bad. So you're gonna go into the next side and you're gonna do the same thing. I think I did five to eight reps here and I did four rounds of this. So you can kind of vary your rep ranges in um, amounts, amount of times you do the reps, but honestly, do what works for you. jealous but here's my Christmas tree and there are the ornaments that are not on it because I don't have the hooky things but I'm so happy it's Christmas time and clothes and a messy bed but 
Let's go eat. Time for me. I've been flying from town to town. 